Hello and welcome to the Hake Farms kitchen. I'll be your chef tonight, Reed Drummond. Just kidding. We wanted to show you a little bit of what you could do with Hake Farms beef and pork, and I thought it would be a great idea to make an easy meatloaf at home. Um, meatloaf is incredibly easy to make and um, a really good um, traditional food for the family. So. Um, before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit about the history of meatloaf. It's actually um, a German and Scandinavian and Belgian traditional food. So you want to really set the mood when you're about to bake. So first of all, Alexa, play some polka music. The playlist Oktoberfest on Amazon Music. Okay, now you're in the mood. Now you need to go to... Make sure that you have a traditional Belgian beer as well. This is going to also help set the mood for this meatloaf. Okay, now you're ready to go. So first of all, um, traditional veal is actually uh, a three-way meat combination between pork, ground beef, and veal. I'm out of ground veal right now, but that makes a great combination in thirds. Tonight we're gonna to be using a pound of ground beef and a pound of pork sausage and adding those together. So some quick tips. Meatloaf is very, very easy to make, but there are a couple tips with meatloaf. Is one, you can over mix it and make the meat tough, so you don't wanna over mix it. Secondly, you don't wanna use a loaf pan because a loaf pan will actually steam your meat and no one likes boiled meat, right? So you want to actually use a cookie sheet um, when you're cooking. Um, and other than that, you can always mix this up and freeze it when it's assembled and use it anytime. Okay, so first the ingredients are pretty simple. You can either make it with breadcrumbs um, or bread. I'm gonna do bread and milk tonight because I need to use up some of this old loaf. Um, cheese, I'm using a sharp cheddar. Parmesan is also great. Um, eggs, milk. I'm gonna add some sauteed onions in mine tonight because I have some of these left over. Um, you can always wrap your meatloaf in bacon too if you really wanna like make it great. Tonight I won't be doing that, but that's also another option and it'll add a little quick time to your meatloaf. Um, so for the topping, it's about a cup and a half of ketchup, a third of a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of ground mustard, um, and then you can always add like a Tabasco. I want to use up this sweet and spicy uh, chili heat, so I'm going to add this to my sauce tonight. All right, first things first, set your oven to 350 and we will get started with the assembly. And the most important part of this is the meat that you're going to be including in this dish. So this is some Hake Farms pork. See it's a lighter in the color, the other white meat. And this is some Hake Farms beef here. This is all nice and fresh and this is going to make a great meatloaf. Okay, after you add the milk, one cup of milk to six pieces of bread, you're going to let this soak for five minutes. So after your bread and milk have soaked, and after you beat your eggs, we're gonna combine this all together. You use your hands, so I'm gonna add my onions, my sharp cheddar cheese. Like I said, if you don't have Parmesan, use whatever cheese you want. Always add garlic. And you can make this your own. This recipe, you don't have to follow recipes to the tea. Salt and pepper. If you like things spicy, make it spicy. Okay, the most important, the meat. We have the meats and egg. Okay. Let's go. So like I talked to you guys before, don't over mix this. It'll make your meatloaf tough. Oh, 
Oh yeah. So when we're done mixing this all in, once it's all combined evenly, we're gonna make it into about a five inch loaf that we're gonna put on our pan. Um, after we're done with this, we're gonna make the sauce. Okay, we're gonna make the sauce. And really, you can't mess this up. I know people that use like jelly, ketchup as a base, add something sweet, some brown sugar, um, some spice. You can't really screw this up, promise you. So we're gonna put a third of this on top of our loaf and then halfway through baking, we're gonna put the other third on top of it and then we're gonna save a third for when we're eating it once it's baked. So mix this up and then we'll put it on top. Okay, so now that we have this combined well, we're gonna make our loaf, our meat loaf. And this is a huge recipe that this calls for. Um, so I might, I'm gonna probably freeze half of this is my plan. So I'm gonna make kind of my five inch wide loaf or about one Marissa hand wide. Seems about right. And you can't really mess this up. Add a little bit more to it. Okay, sauce time. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna put this in the oven and bake it for about 35 minutes and then we will put the next layer of sauce on. Look at that sexy hunk of hot meat. We're gonna add some more sauce to it and put her back in. Okay, cutting into the meatloaf. Nice and done. Perfect, I'm gonna tip it over here so you can see. Looks perfect. A lot of people like to serve this with mashed potatoes. Um, really, honestly, we're in confinement, so whatever you got left in the pantry will work. So again, hope you enjoy uh, meatloaf. Um, so this is about 10 minutes later. Perhaps I should have made both loaves.